All right, so let's go over a setup that you can use for hip external rotation. Now this is similar to the one or the video that I made for hip internal rotation, but we can flip it and just adjust it slightly to do the exact same thing for hip external rotation. So if we wanna improve hip external rotation, and this is my working leg, this is the leg that I'm trying to improve, I'm first gonna start by self-assessing how much external rotation I have. So I'm gonna take my femur, my thigh bone, I'm gonna spin it outwards and see how high I can rotate to lift that foot up by just spinning that bone. Then I'm gonna take my stick and I'm gonna place it underneath my shin bone to support that leg. Now, again, we can get deeper in a stretch here one of two ways. We can either use the stick, take it a little bit lower, or even just bring it above our knee to get ourselves into a little bit of hip external rotation. This way is kind of nice because now I don't have to work as hard to hold the stick. It requires less muscular effort from my arm to be here because I've just taken that stick from below my knee to above my knee, which pulled my foot up just a little bit higher into that stretch. And that would be a, fe or a femur on pelvis strategy, meaning I'm mooning, <laughs> mooning, I'm moving my thigh bone on my pelvis bone. The other, other strategy, oh my goodness, I can't talk. The other strategy that you could use is to give you guys a side view. If I were to come over to this side and I were in that same position, I could actually use my pelvis, okay? So I could leave my, my leg exactly as it is, not change it at all but take my pelvis and tilt it forward in space. I call this the Instagram influencer. So you would find your Instagram influencer pose, dump that pelvis forward, give yourself that booty, and you then find that stretch by actually going pelvis on femur. You could even just lean forward ever so slightly to find that stretch if you still haven't found it. But for most people, when they just go into anterior pelvic tilt, they take that pelvis, which you could think of as a bucket of water, they dump that water forward, find that nice Instagram influencer pose. Usually at that point, we can find a stretch there. So you can go either option in terms of trying to find that stretch. And if we then come back to our start position here, give you a front on view, and we've got ourselves in our stretch, we can then do pails and rails here. So after you've done your stretch for the prescribed period of time or whatever length of time you're doing it for, which is hopefully at least two minutes, you're then gonna follow with pails and rails. At this point, I actually like to switch this stick and get it underneath my leg so that I've got full contact because I'm gonna be trying to drive out of the stretch, meaning I'm gonna be trying to rotate this way back out of it for my pails effort. If you don't know what pails and rails are, I've made another video for that. I'll link to it in this one, although if you're watching it on Instagram, you won't be able to see that link. And you can just message me or comment below and I'll send it to you. So we'll be doing, again, pails and rails here. If you're a client of mine, you should know what pails and rails are. And so that would be our pails effort, trying to drive out of it. You would do that at the desired intensity or what I've prescribed to you hold it for the length of time that I've prescribed to you if you're working with me, and then you would switch to doing your rails contraction, which is going to be trying to think about externally rotating to pull yourself deeper into the stretch. So I'm then gonna be thinking about trying to tilt my pelvis further forward more as I think about making my foot lighter on this stick, trying to rotate that thigh bone. I'm gonna hold that for the prescribed time period, and then again, relax, repeat for the number of sets and reps on your sheet. And just like you could do hip internal rotation passive range holds here, you can also do hip external rotation passive range holds. So if you did your stretch, your pails and rails, and you now want to follow it with some end range options, what you can do is see what your active range is, take that stick, pull it up a little bit higher, make sure that pelvis is locked in, fight to hold it here, remove that stick and then fight to keep it there. But make sure with this one that you don't start to see your hip coming up into flexion. You don't want those hip flexors starting to do the work for you because you are trying to improve hip external rotation. So make sure that all of your effort is trying to rotate that way, not pull your leg up. So you would hold that for again, the desired time period, come back in, scoop it up, take it back up to your start position, rinse and repeat for the desired reps and sets. If you guys have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. If you're a client that works with me, you guys know how to get a hold of me.
Whenever you watch one of my videos, make sure to check the description below the video because I'll always drop links to related videos, links to exercises that would go well with the one that you just finished watching, links to free mobility classes, eBooks, and to my ever-growing library of full-length training videos. Additionally, if you found this specific video helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button below and that'll send me the message that you wanna see more videos like this one. You can also subscribe to be notified when new videos like this one are available. And if there's something specific that you wanna see a video on, just let me know in the comments below and we'll try and make that happen. Otherwise, take care and we'll see you in the next one.